So hi guys, girls, and non-binary pals, and welcome back to my channel. No long intro, you know what you've clicked here for. Today we are talking about how to look expensive on a budget. I truly believe that you do not have to spend a lot of money to look classy and amazing. And that's fortunate because a lot of us do not have the zeros in the bank account to splash out. Talking about inexpensive, all the things I'm going to share with you today I have got from brands such as Misguided or I Saw It First, all the things I already have in my wardrobe, but none of these outfits are going to break the bank. So the first tip I have for you is neutral colours. These are colours such as blacks, whites, beige, taupes, greys. This kind of general neutral colour palette. So here I'm just showing you an outfit I put together which is clearly neutral, it's all black. It consists of a black bodysuit which is a staple pretty much in every girl's wardrobe anyways. And I've paired it with a really simple, really comfy basic pair of frilly shorts. I'm a huge fan of these kind of dressed up shorts for the summer. They are comfy but classy, they hug you in all the right places but they are not tight. This is such a simple cute outfit that you can literally throw together and it is not going to break the bank. So because I kept this look very simple and very monochrome, I went with these two accessories. So with the shoes again, we've just got a basic pair of sneakers and like so many people own these already anyways, I just think they are so cute. I really, really love the platform version of these and I'm definitely investing in a pair of those next. I then went with this really cute clutch bag. It doesn't matter about brand, you can literally pick a little clutch bag up from anywhere. I then went ahead and paired the same bodysuit with a black pair of high-waisted wide leg pants. Now again, I've gone black and black, but you can totally switch these out for a white pair of pants. I just didn't find a pair that I liked. But I think this outfit would look so cute and still so classy, perhaps maybe even more so, with a really cute white pair of flared trousers. So I would already say that these trousers are quite dressy, they're quite smart already, but that's not a problem because wearing something like this already elevates your outfit and makes it look more expensive. Okay, so tip number two. Two. So looking expensive without the price tag is sticking to those classic timeless pieces that never go out of fashion. Now hearing timeless piece may seem really boring to you, but I promise you they are so versatile and you're going to be reaching for them in your wardrobe all year round. You can wear them so many different ways. They are so effortless. One of these timeless pieces that you can never go wrong with is a basic white t-shirt in the summer. So still staying with that neutral theme, I decided to pair this white tee with a basic neutral beige or taupe skirt. I think this outfit is so, so cute, so simple, yet so sophisticated. I love the slits in the side of the skirt. I really think that helps to raise the skirt's game. I think it really adds something to the skirt and I would say it's a very classy piece. What I would say though, is as much as I really do like this skirt, I like the material, I like the feel, it's breathable. Well, well it is breathable and it's a skirt. <laughs> but I would say size down, definitely one or two sizes because I got this in a size six. I actually had to scrunch the back of the skirt up because it is way too big. So I would say the ultimate timeless look that you've seen throughout the decades is matching a basic white tee with a blue pair of jeans. This really is just to show you how versatile white tees are. You could perhaps make this more of a summer look if you were to wear more ripped jeans, perhaps even hem shorts. I think that could look extremely classy, having just that little bit more length for the shorts. So yeah, white tees are a winner. Okay, moving on. This one I do think is very key, and I think it can seriously elevate any outfit. And that is just simply wearing a belt. I do think if you do want to splurge on a few items to make your look more expensive, I do think belts as well as bags and purses are one of those key items that can really work to make your whole outfit look expensive in just a single accessory. I don't have that budget to go buy a Gucci belt. If we're going to keep things cheap, we're not going to talk about Gucci or Louis Vuitton belts. Let's talk Primark. Let's talk three pounds. Three pounds to elevate your look and to look more expensive. I really do think a belt helps to bring your outfit together. I think it's a key part to a lot of looks. It also helps to accentuate your figure and hug you in all the right places. But perhaps if you're like me and most people and it's post quarantine, you've eaten a bit too much and you really don't need a belt, just put it on a looser hole and just wear it for that detail. 
So I think we've reached a good point now that we spoke about a belt to then talk about accessories in general and to talk about jewellery. All things pearls and diamonds a girl's best friends, but they don't have to be real. I do think you can just have a few key items that you never take off, perhaps a ring or a necklace that you wouldn't leave the house with. I don't think this is necessarily a strict rule, but I do think dainty pieces of jewellery look very elegant and classy. Whether you want to go dainty or chunky, I don't think it matters necessarily, but I think what does matter and is very important to a sophisticated look is to match your jewellery with your hardware. What I mean by this is to match everything. Match perhaps the hardware of your belt, perhaps there's gold or silver in your shoe, perhaps you're wearing a hairpiece that has some gold or silver or whatever colour with your jewellery. As you can sometimes get away with mixing and matching silvers and golds, I do think for a classy look it is important to stick with one colour. As you can see at the moment I'm wearing a gold belt and I have some gold rings on. If I was to then go pair that with a silver necklace, as much as I love this necklace and as beautiful as it is, I now think by pairing a silver necklace with a gold buckle and gold rings, I think it would just make your outfit look less expensive. Just to reiterate what I'm talking about, I'm wearing gold rings, a gold buckle, and then I was wearing these shoes. These shoes have silver backs to them and they also have some cute silver stars, as well as these silver buckle bits here. If I was to wear these with a gold look, I don't think it works. So that is where I think the silver necklace would look much nicer. And these gold earrings, as well as the rings, go with the hardware on the belt. Disclaimer, when talking rings, I did forget to mention that this ring here and this one are both from Misguided, a stackable set, whereas this one is from Pandora and has a much bigger price tag. But looking at these three together, I think it would be very hard to tell which one is the most expensive. Yes, okay, the Pandora one will probably wear a lot better. These two may get tarnished. But this is why I say it's good to have a few key pieces that you always wear as part of your jewellery collection and just work around the rest. Okay, next up with this fifth. Okay, so we're halfway there. With this fifth top tip to looking expensive on a budget, one I've actually been most excited to try on are cohorts. Two piece sets. They're already styled for you. There is no extra thinking. You've got your top, you've got your bottoms, you've practically got a whole outfit. You know it'll be the same material, you know it'll be the same colour, the same texture. Oh, it's a dream. So I have steered away a little bit from the criteria and that is I haven't gone really for a neutral colour. I mean it is pastel so it's not really bold or really vibrant. I think it is still quite classy but it's just something I actually really wanted to try on anyways. One thing I actually really do like about this is that there's no belly on show. With two piece sets, especially with tops and skirts, I do like to have a little bit of your belly, a bit above your belly button on show. I think it looks really nice. But for an expensive look, I really like that actually everything's covered. I think it really helps maintain a classy appearance. I mean, not everything's covered up. We have got an off the shoulder look here. And I mean, I could have made this look even more expensive if I had bothered to put a strapless bra on. Guys, we're halfway through the video and I'm tired, so please forgive me. But I would say, yes, definitely wear no bra, wear a strapless bra. Don't have things like this on show. You really must and you have to wear a bra. To try and keep it nude, kind of to match sort of my skin tone or any kind of skin tone to match yours. Or match it with the color of the piece that you're wearing. And it may just look like added straps. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but this outfit is seriously giving me Princess Jasmine vibes. <laughs> I'm kind of loving it. You can't get any more classy than a princess. Do not clash prints, okay? If you're going for, say, a polka dot look on the top, don't go for a striped look on the bottom. If you're going for a geometric design on the top, don't go for, say, a floral print on the bottom. The best thing you can do to achieve this expensive look is to stick with solid colours. As you've seen pretty much all throughout this video, I've mixed and matched, but I've stuck with solid colours. Last outfit change. Thank goodness. Oh, I'm too tired for any more outfit changes. Although I will note that these trousers have actually featured in another video. I'll put it somewhere up here. My mum actually picked these pants out for me. I know. Can you believe it? It was part of a My Mum Picks My Post Quarantine outfit. So if you haven't checked that video out, have a look at it now. She picked some um, really interesting things. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, we're down to the final few points. The next tip I have, if you want to make your outfit look a little bit more expensive, a little bit luxurious, is get yourself a pair of sunnies. Whether you want to get yourself a cheapy pair from Primani, again, yes, Primani saves the day. Or spend a little bit more money and get more of an expensive brand like Ray-Bans. It doesn't matter. Just a pair of sunglasses will really help to elevate your outfit. I also don't think you can go wrong with, well, both my pairs are quite brown, like tortoise shelly. Um, I think that's a great look for an expensive pair, as well as black, as well as gold, perhaps. I think these colours really all help to add to more of a classy look. I mean, you just look at people like Audrey Hepburn and some other celebrities that I might pop up. I just really think that a big pair of glasses just really adds to the look, adds to the mysteriousness. And I really can't put my finger on why a pair of sunglasses elevates your look and makes you look more expensive. But it really does. But yeah, whatever your price range, there is something for everyone. Okay, so the next one is like probably the least inexpensive thing um, I could offer you guys. And it's not a piece of clothing. I wouldn't say it's an accessory, maybe it is. But it's literally just a well-kept mani with usually a very neutral colour. If you look at the royal family, for example, and you can't get very much more sophisticated than that, look at people like Kate Middleton, Princess Diana, Meghan Markle, and you always see that they have a really well-kept manicure, and they usually wear a very neutral, very sophisticated colour. The one I've decided to go with today is the OPI Nail Lacquer in the shade My Very First Knock Last. I don't know what that means, but that is the colour I went with today. I don't necessarily personally think you have to keep the colour neutral because I know for sure when the salons are back open and I can get my extensions put back on, whether it be acrylic or gel, I love going for bright, vibrant colours like corals especially. But I do think maintaining a nice manicure, just making sure they're clean and they're shaped, whatever colour you put on there or no colour at all, I think that can really help the look and make you look more expensive. Okay, so now we're down to just the final two points, and they're the best points because they are totally free and anybody can do them, you can start right now. The first one is just to look like you're pissed. I really do think when you look at people, take models for example on the catwalk, a lot of the time they just have a really basic face. I can't do it, but I'm naturally blessed with a resting the arch face. If it works, it works, you know, and it's free. Okay, so my final tip. Ultimately, whatever look you're going for, whatever you choose to wear, whatever you put on your body, rock it with confidence. As long as you have some confidence in what you're doing, you're halfway there. Confidence is so sexy. As long as you feel good in what you're wearing and you ooze confidence, automatically people around you are going to start looking at you and think she looks good, she looks confident, she's carrying herself, she's carrying herself well and that's something you need to teach yourself just to love yourself, just to be confident in who you are just to be confident in what you want to wear that's what makes us all beautiful, we're all different it'd be so boring if we had a world where everyone looked the same where everyone acted the same, where everyone wore the same things like in school so just work with whatever you have because what you have is different to what anyone else has so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned a couple of tricks and tips that perhaps you didn't already know that you can implement into your wardrobe, into the things you wear, into the way you act, on how you can look more expensive on a budget. Anybody can do it. You don't need to have those zeros at the end of your bank statement. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a like to let me know that you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more videos like this. And comment down below on any videos you would like to see in the future, any of the pieces that you really liked, any more tips you may like to share. So thanks again, guys. Until next time, stay confident, stay safe.